Hello and welcome to the MCQ lecture series. In today's class, we are going to look at some of the important multiple choice questions with respect to the economics general paper for TYBA. In this class, we are starting up with chapter 4, which in a sense looks at some of the important theories of economic development. In this class particularly, I am going to talk about the Adam Smith's theory of economic development. So let's get started. The first question is, who regarded every person as the best judge of his or her self-interest? Whether A, it was Adam Smith, B, it was David Ricardo, C, it was John Menard Keynes or D, it was Karl Marx. So here, every person as the best judge of his or her self-interest was propagated by none other than Adam Smith and therefore Adam Smith option A is the correct answer to this particular question. I hope the question is clear. Let us now move to the second one. The second one is with respect to what kind of arguments did Adam Smith support and the question is framed in this fashion. Adam Smith supported the arguments on dash whether he supported the arguments on a natural law b division of labor c process of capital accumulation or d all of the above so here we say that or we suggest that it was all these three important arguments which adam smith supported and therefore option d all of the above is the correct answer to this particular question that means adam smith supported the arguments on natural law the process of capital accumulation as well as division of labor okay so this is the correct answer option d all of the above let us now move to the next one according to adam smith division of labor depends upon what according to the smithian analysis division of labor depends upon a demand for labor b supply of labor c market size or d none of the above so here according to the smithian analysis the division of labor depends upon the market size or the extent of market size to be very precise so here the correct answer is market size on which division of labor is dependent upon according to the smithian analysis i hope the question is pretty much clear let us now move to the next question wherein we are looking at what are the necessary conditions for economic development according to adam smith and the question is framed in this fashion adam smith regarded dash as the necessary condition for economic development what was the necessary condition according to adam smith for economic development whether a it was capital scarcity whether it, whether it was b capital accumulation whether it was c capital base and d none of the above so here we are looking at the necessary condition of uh, for economic development according to smith and it is nothing but b capital accumulation so according to adam smith Capital accumulation is the necessary condition for economic development of a particular country. I hope this question is clear. Very important question. You might get such questions in your paper. Anyways, let us now move to the next one. The Smithian approach suggests that investments were made by capitalists because they expected dash. The Smithian approach suggests that investments were made by capitalists because they expected what? Whether they expected a chance whether they expected change, whether they expected profits, whether they expected competition. So here we have to understand or we have to identify what was the reason the capitalists were engaged into something called as investments and it is nothing but profits. So here the Smithian approach suggests that investments were made by capitalists because they expected profits out of those investments. I hope this question is pretty much clear. Let us now move to the next one. The next one suggests that Smith wrote that with increasing prosperity, progress and population, the rate of interest will be what? Will be dash here. That is the sort of question with increasing prosperity, progress and population. The rate of interest would a increase b decrease or fall c remains stable or d none of the above so here according to smith with increasing prosperity progress and population the rate of interest is bound to decrease or fall so here the correct answer is option b fall or decrease i hope the question is pretty much clear let us now move to the next one the next one is looking at the agents of economic progress according to smith and the question is framed in this fashion according to adam smith who are the agents of economic progress who are the agents of economic progress and the underlying options are a farmers b producers c businessmen and d all of the above so here 
the correct answer according to the smithian analysis is that all these three are important agents of economic progress that means all of the above is the correct answer which suggests that farmers producers as well as businessmen are all agents of economic progress according to the smithian analysis okay so here option d all of the above is the correct answer to this particular question i hope the question is clear let us now move to the next one the next one is looking at what will be the stage in development per se according to smith once progressive state is moved so let us look at how the question is framed the progressive state envisaged by adam smith leads to what so whether it leads to dynamic state whether it leads to stationary state whether it leads to regressive state or none of the above so progressive state as envisaged by smith will lead to nothing but stationary state that means option b is the correct answer progressive state and then we move towards something called as stationary state okay so i hope the option uh, the answer for this particular question is clear option b that means stationary state is correct with respect to this question let us now move to the next one the next one is suggesting according to adam smith the end result of capitalism is what according to smith the end result of capitalism is whether a democratic state b liberal state c stationary state or d dynamic state so here according to adam smith the end result of capitalism is always stationary state so i hope the question is pretty much clear and also the answer with respect to the same yeah let us now move to the next question which is when the stationary state is reached because we moved from progressive state to stationary state but what happens when the stationary state is reached according to smith so let us look at that so when the stationary state is reached according to smithian analysis dash happens or according to smith what happens when the stationary state is reached because ultimately capitalist uh, or capitalism is going to reach this state so let us look at what is going to happen if if at all the stationary state is reached by a country per se whether uh, what will happen a is capital accumulation will stop b profits will be minimum c wages are at subsistence level and d all of the above so here according to adam smith whenever a country reaches stationary state it will ex experience all these three things that means wages will be at subsistence the capital accumulation will stop and also profits will be at its minimum so therefore option d all of the above is the correct answer to this particular question i hope the question is clear very important question with respect to this uh, chapter per se okay let us now move to the next one the next one is which of the following denotes weaknesses of the theory propounded by adam smith or limitations of the theory propounded by adam smith and the underlying options are a unrealistic assumption of stationary state we, we have just seen the case for stationary state the second is a rigid division of society the third is neglects the role of entrepreneur as they play an important role in the process of development and d all of the above so which are uh, which of these points are weaknesses or denoting weaknesses of adam smith th theory it is all of these point that means unrealistic assumption of stationary state also neglecting the role of entrepreneur in the process of development and also rigid division of society and hence option d all of the above is the correct answer to this particular question let us now move to the last question in this segment which is again in a sense talking about the criticisms or points of criticism of the smithian theory and the question is framed in this fashion the points of criticism of the smithian theory are dash and the underlying options are a unrealistic assumption of perfect competition second is static model the third is one sided saving base and last is all of the above so here again the kind of criticisms or points envisaged by other economists are in line with what are given to us that means they said that the un there is unrealistic assumption of perfect competition the model is static according to hicks then one sided saving base exists and therefore option d all of the above is the correct answer to this particular question so we have in all seen 3 plus 3 6 points of criticisms with respect to smithian theory so i hope the idea of how economic development can be seen through the lens of adam smith's theory is pretty much clear please stay tuned for more thank you